when I turned 18, I was ready to, to get out of town. And uh, uh, we lived in Illinois, and I decided 800 miles was a good distance to put in between <laughs> my first 18 years and my future. So I came uh, to Columbia, South Carolina. Managed to get my degree, really wanted to go into music. Met a great group of guys that had the same sort of inspiration, and uh, we were called Hootie and the Blowfish. And uh, what happened was we hit the musical lottery. Uh, against all odds, a little band from Columbia, South Carolina, uh, four unassuming guys hit the big time. And it catapulted my life and all the things that I thought were building me up also. Uh, I really believed that, you know, playing rock and roll music and being in front of big crowds and traveling and seeing the world and drinking a beer in every one of those towns <laughs> was filling me up. I had money for the first time in my life. I had an audience that was pleasing to me. <laughs> I had a lot of people serving me. And then I had a family that I started. And I also had something that was the biggest burden, which was called alcoholism. I got to a point where I couldn't go a day without drinking, but it was causing me a lot of harm and a lot of pain. I was drinking daily for about the past, last 10 years of my addiction. Uh, my need for alcohol went forward into drugs and uh, led me to some dark places. Fights, broken relationships, financial consequences, but it was really that, that spiritual bankruptcy where inside it just didn't feel right and I had a something called humanity which caused me to rationalize that I could do it and what changed was getting to that point of realizing I couldn't do it and when you're a college educated wealthy adored male in this society I think the last thing you want to come to is that sign that says, you don't know it, you don't have it, you don't have the answers, and you're under control of something else. It was at that time that I decided to call a friend and uh, enter a 12-step program. I just knew in my heart I had run out of answers and it hurt too much living the way I was. After about a year and a half, in my 12-step program, uh, I felt good, but I was still making the mistakes that I made while drinking. I couldn't figure out because I thought it was the alcohol that was causing me all these problems. I thought it was the drugs. I thought it was the people that I was hanging out with. And uh, the fact was, it was me. It's one thing to have the excuse of alcohol for all your mistakes and all your misguided errors. It's another thing to have sobriety, over a year of sobriety, and still find yourself in very dark places and knowing that there's only one person to blame for that. I had a belief system that said, you can figure it out. And until I dragged myself through the dirt and got beat down enough, I wasn't gonna believe any different. The heavy clouds had to part, and I had to stay sober for over a year before I could even come out of that clearing. I started seeing my life change. And it wasn't for something I did, it was for something he did. I had an experience of uh, trying out this new Christian music that I'd been listening to and I wanted to go to a concert. I wanted to see what it was all about. How can this be that all these people get together and put their hands up and sing these words? I just, I wanted to experience it. I went by myself. I went to see Chris Tomlin uh, up in Charlotte and once again, I was overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit. I just was. It was that feeling of having that void fill up. The void that I tried to put everything else in was now being filled by verbalizing, singing, shouting out His praises. There's a big difference in verbalizing it for some reason. I don't know what it was. I spoke every day. I spoke to friends. I could recite some prayers. But when I had to give Jesus, my life, and say, Lord, just take this. Do something better with it. I don't know how to do it. That was a big moment for me. I think that was the moment where I had to give myself to Him. 
That's a moment I wanted to repeat, and I needed to repeat every day.